Hello, online crew. How are you today? I'm going to share with you an awesome little tip to help those of you doing live video to repurpose that content. So what's a really good idea when you do a live video or any kind of content that you're creating on social media to build your business is if you can repurpose it in more than one way, then obviously that's something that you want to do because you're working smarter and not harder. Anything that I can do to help myself work smarter and not harder, I'm up for that. How about you guys? So what I want to share to with you today, you may know this exists. Um, you may not know this exists, but it just gives you the opportunity for those of you that are doing live video and, um, you know, maybe you just talk. Maybe you're just one of those people that's quite casual and you just are able to talk, um, you know, naturally from live video so you're not writing anything down that you're sharing. Maybe if you're like me, you're somebody that writes bullet points down uh, like in handwriting but they're not on the computer anywhere and you deliver your live video but your live video is all in, in voice. So if you're established enough in your business that you have a website or a blog post, which a lot of you may not, a really good idea, and I'm not, this is not the tip, I'm not suggesting you do this, but a really good idea with live videos is to repurpose them into a blog. So uh, what people predominantly do, uh, how they do that is they go to a service like Rev.com. You heard of that service, guys? You yeah. upload your video and you pay rev.com like a dollar a minute. And then, so if you've done a 10, you know, a 10 minute video, it's $10 and they completely transcribe your video. And then you can just turn it into a blog post or an article or a PDF or something like that. Okay. So there is a way that you can do that for free. So what I'm suggesting that if you guys do live videos, that you think about the content that you've shared in your live video. How can you repurpose that? Is your live video about some tips? Three tips, two. Can you turn the content that you've spoken about in a live video into three tips, two, and put it into a post? Maybe you could put it into a PDF and then you've got a giveaway, a lead magnet. Um, there's all sorts of things that you can do, but I just want to keep this really simple for, for those of you that not necessarily have a blog or a website, but you'd love to be able to just simply take all the stuff that you said on a live video and have it there ready to go to sort of put into a um, post type content. Okay. So just got a quick, simple tip for you. I'm going to share my screen in a second with you guys and show you what you can do. And this is completely for free. So if this just helps one person watching this video, that'll be pretty cool. It's helpful to me. Okay. If we haven't met before, my name is Helen Martin. I'm your online crew captain. I am here of service to our amazing crew here of entrepreneurs, home-based business owners, direct sellers, network marketers, those in MLM, and you're looking for modern social media strategies to build your business online. No chasing family and friends, doing an old school way. You want to truly learn how to attract people to you online. So there's a variety of things that need to be done to achieve that. That's learning about attraction marketing, doing live videos, you know, all sorts of things. And that's what we talk about here. So if that's what you're looking for, you're in the right spot. Okay. Just a reminder, um, I have got the link up above to the video challenge group. I am starting a, my last free video challenge um, is starting on May the 3rd. It's 10 days. It's completely for free. If you are avoiding live video, get over yourself. It doesn't take that long to get over the fear. If you're hugely fearful of live video, it's all ego. You're just worried about what people think of you and you need to let go of that because it's holding you back and it's holding your business back. Okay, so if you join us in a challenge situation, I give you the um, the content, the technical videos. If you don't even know how what buttons to push, I give you all of that. Okay, so it's an option for those of you and those of you that have done it before, um, help people that haven't done it before. Offer out this video challenge. It's completely for free. Why wouldn't you help other people get over the fear of live video? It's open to anybody, okay? The link is above, okay? Just checking in with some of our crew today. Just a reminder, I'm not going live tomorrow. Um, I've got my son's football game. It's a special 100-year anniversary for the, uh, 
for the club. Um, so it's a big day tomorrow. So you won't see me live tomorrow, okay? So I'll catch you guys next week. Um, so hello, Gloria, how are you? We've got Terry here, we've got Crystal, we've got Cynthia, we've got Janet here as well, we've got Cherie, Crystal's one of our life members, we've got Soyini, how are you? Hello, Olive, good to see you here. We've got Debbie, we've got Yvette. Um, I love this. So Crystal might get value out of this. Hello, Beth. Where's my Dana? I can't find the emoji. <laughs> so the anchor is the life member. Uh, but Beth, you're one of our special VIPs now. Hello, Linda. Hello, Edith. I'm too chicken. Terry, get over yourself. Live video. If you have, it, it, let's just keep this real for a second. If you want to grow your business faster and you want to use social media to do it, go live. But just, guys, be you. Don't be somebody that you're not. Go, don't go pushing out your stuff. Nobody wants to hear it. They want to get to know you. When you build up the know, like, and trust factor and somebody, um, you know, gets to know you and they think, oh, they're a pretty cool person, then they might reach out to you about your business and your staff and what you've got because you're providing valuable information. But you've got to start somewhere. It's just getting over that initial fear. But most people will tell you, Terry, tell, tell, tell them, guys, those that have got a huge fear over it, it doesn't take that long to get over the fear, does it? Especially in a live video challenge where you're doing it sort of every day, okay? Um, so Beth has offered to help you already. <laughs> Hello, Asha. How are you? Good to see you on mic. Um, I don't have a business yet. Well, that's okay. Terry, you can just go live and uh, the video challenge is a really good idea then um, because I give you the content. You don't have to have a business to um, sort of promote. You can, um, you know, change the content a little bit on those days when I'm telling people, you know, maybe share something about your business. So that's okay, Terry. Okay. Just get into the group and have a look around. Beth can help you and we'll go from there. Okay. Um, just uh, can I build uh, before a business? Yeah, doing live video is just letting people get to know who you are, Terry. So you can show up on live video and talk about personal development type things. Um, you can share valuable information with people about helping them being better version of themselves. Most people walking this planet have self-doubt. They've got skeletons in the closet. They've got things there, um, you know, that, that they haven't overcome. They're afraid um, to let the walls down, let people know who they really are. People, majority of people are way too worried about what other people think of them. There's so many topics that you could talk about that are, have got nothing to do with your business. So you can build your profile and build your audience before you start building a business. Absolutely, Terry, because it's about you. It's your personality. Um, <coughs> okay, so let me get into the content. I'm going to share my screen. Now, this is going to look a little bit weird because I'm going to pull up yesterday's live, okay, on my screen, and I'm going to start recording that live. And I'm going to show you a way to, for free, transcribe my own live for free through what you've got available to you on your computer. So I, I talk about a lot of things on live. I go live five days a week uh, for the most part, except when I'm on holidays and stuff like that, like I've been in the, in the last week. And I share a lot of value. Now, for me, the way that I work, I like to handwrite my bullet points for what I'm talking about, because there is, and research shows this, the connection from the brain to, um, you know, the hand and writing things out. That's when, when you listen to a training or something, if you handwrite your notes, you actually absorb it deeper than if you straight type. From, from listening to training. There's something that happens with the connection of the, the brain when you handwrite, it sinks in deeper. So I like to write my bullet points out and that's what, so I've got wads that you'd laugh if you saw my pile. I've got piles of um, paper with all my notes and I can repurpose that, but nothing's sort of written down. So if I want to repurpose something that I've shared with you guys, let's say I've shared three tips to increase engagement. Like we did an awesome training in the coaching community um, yesterday. Those of you that are in there, make sure you go back and watch that recording in that group. Um, so a group of people, my, my the VIP, people in my VIP program, we shared 12 tips to increase engagement on social media. So I could do exactly with that video what I'm going to show you now, and that will all be in written format ready for me to put into a blog, ready for me to break up and put into social media posts, to type up on Canva, 
Um, so this is what I want to show you how to do because there's some of you that might be really good at live video and you're sharing awesome content, but you're not repurposing it anywhere else. It's a downfall of mine. I'll admit that. I'm a live video person. I prefer to go live than writing anything. It's not my thing to write blogs and stuff like that, but I'm missing opportunities because at the end of the day, there are people that will be missing my content because they don't like watching live video or it's too much for them or I talk too long on my live videos um, because they go too long. So I'm missing a sector of the market because I'm not putting things in written format. Some people just love to scroll and they will not listen to live videos. Okay, majority of people are, but you want to tailor your content for different um, modalities. So some people read, some people listen, some people watch. So this is an opportunity for those of you doing live video to transcribe what you've said uh, for free. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. Uh, da, 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 share, share. Uh, okay. I'm going to pull up. Oh, there's a face and a half. Um, so just let me pull this up quickly, guys. Um, do, 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 is live now. I'm going to. Okay. So pull up your own um, live video that you've already done. So you've already created the content. Um, maybe you've done a live video and go, geez, that was good. <laughs> I gave some awesome tips on that live video. But you don't want to have to go back and retype everything, um, you know, to put in an article or a PDF or, um, you know, little posts or something like that. So here's what you're going to do. You do need Microsoft Word for this, okay? Have you all got that? Have you all like, I, I use a Mac but I've still got the Microsoft suite on here. So I'm going to pull up Word. This is a new feature from a few months ago, okay? Have you guys tested this out? Can you see on my very far right hand of the screen, there's a little microphone there that says Office Dictation, okay? This is, um, yeah, just a few months ago they added this in, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that on Okay, is listening to me and say what. So those of you, are you watching what's happening here? Those of you that are not very good at writing but you might have a thought um, in your head and you're like, oh, I'd love to capture that thought. But you're, you're a talker um, but you want to capture it in a post. Um, now that could be for um, just a curiosity post. It could be for a Facebook ad. Um, it could be for something that you want to plug into Canva and do a little graphic about some tips. Can you see what's going on here, guys? I'm not typing a thing. My hands are free. It's just dictating from what I'm saying. So what I can actually do is come back to, so you can use just use it for that. Just brainstorm, say something, get it to write it down and then just click save as it's saved on your computer. Um, so, you know, you can just, this would be awesome. Crystal, if you are listening, uh, writing your book, you don't necessarily have to type every word. You could just say it, um, from, um, you know, your mouth and let it do here. And surprisingly guys, it's actually quite accurate, which is pretty good. So I'm going to come to my live video here. I'm just going to stop talking for a second. Let's go up. Okay. And I'm going to press play. <laughs> Back, and hopefully the rest of you will catch uh, the replay because you had no idea I was going live. But anyway, um, for those of you that are aware, I've been away for the last week. I went away with my family. We actually got on an aeroplane and we went to a different state in Australia, which was just so amazing to be in a change of scenery. I've just finally figured out I'm actually really cold because I forgot <laughs> that I've gone from the warm to the cold and I've got a T-shirt on. So yesterday, this T-shirt was quite fitting. Today, uh, okay, let me pause. So you can um, stop it and um, play it from um, just clicking on the microphone button here. But that is completely transcribing my live video from yesterday. So think about the possibilities of this for those of you that go live and just talk, but you never write anything down, 
or you've got some bullet points, but they're on actually, uh, you know, on physically um, a piece of paper and you don't actually have any of your stuff written on a computer, which is me, to be able to, I can just let that roll. I can walk away from this computer um, and let that completely transcribe itself. I can save it to my computer and I can chop it up. So if you're doing live videos that have, you know, three tips to increase engagement um, on your social media posts and you do a great live video about that, finish your live video, go into Microsoft Word, that's the program if you missed it, um, and um, play your video, walk away from your computer, let it transcribe the whole thing and then just go and edit it or, um, you know, put it into chunks and then turn it into a Facebook post and you can just co copy and paste um, little excerpts of what you've already said. So this is a fantastic way for you guys to repurpose stuff that you're already doing and chop it up and put it in other places. As I mentioned earlier in the video, those of you that are doing, that have a website um, that do do blog posts, you can simply, um, you know, put your whole entire video at the top but have it all transcribed for you underneath as a blog post. Those of you that don't have websites, you could make a pretty PDF in Canva, um, you know, three tips to whatever, and that's a giveaway that you've got for you um, for your audience. So I think it's just an amazing tip. It's very helpful to me because I do a lot of talking. Those of you that don't necessarily like writing, but you could just, you know, freely speak, um, you could use that dictate option in Microsoft Word to help you achieve this. So what do you think of that, guys? Did you know that existed, for starters? Do you think it's something that you could use? Um, I'd love to know. I'm just going to come back to some of your um, comments here. Uh, yes, Microsoft, I just found this the other day. It is amazing, such a time saver, absolutely. I must have missed the first few minutes. What application is it? Just Microsoft Word with the dictate on the end. Uh, wow, me, 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 that is so cool. PowerPoint has this feature as well. Yep, awesome. Um, Microsoft Word, awesome. Just depends what format you want it in. So clever, uh, awesome. It would be for you, Crystal, with your writing. Speech to text has been around for yet ever. Yeah, it has, but not in Microsoft Word. Um, so, yeah, it's not necessarily new as a thing. But that feature has not been on Microsoft Word. So it just depends on the tools that you use. And for those of you that like to use Microsoft Word um, a lot, that is a new feature that hasn't been around forever. Um, yes, I would love this. Okay. Um, how much is Word program with this option? So it's part of the Microsoft Office suite, which most people use on a computer. So um, you'd need to uh, look into that. That's got like Word and Excel and PowerPoint and stuff like that. So if you don't have the Microsoft suite, then you, you probably can't do that. But a lot of people do. It's the main sort of programs a lot of people use. So if you have it, great, you can utilise it. If you don't, um, then, you know, maybe you could, you could look into it. Um, that's just a choice. Um, no, I didn't know about it, but it's just I will be checking uh, if my Mac has that. Well, I'm on a Mac, Linda, right now, and that works for me. Cherie's going to use it. Uh, great information. Thank you. Had not seen this dictation. Yeah, and it's it's not that dictation tools haven't been around. There's actually voice to text on your phones has been for quite some time. I just wanted to share that with those of you that use Microsoft Word and use it a lot because I think it's just a very easy, simple tool for those of you doing live video to, because there are still people that are using paid services like rev.com. And usually when there's a free service like that, that, that pops up, the accuracy is, is not great. I've used free services, um, like sort of similar to that before, but the accuracy, it took me so long to edit um, what was transcribed that it's just, it's, it was worth paying for the paid option from rev.com to transcribe it with, you know, almost 100% accuracy because it's about saving time and it's about, re um, you know, repurposing your content. So I hope that's helpful to somebody out there that uses the Microsoft Suite products and that you've got Microsoft Word. If that can save you some time in your business, then that would be a really good thing. Okay. Um, open Office 
is freeware. Open Office is freeware. Not sure if it will dictate. We'll have to check. Yeah, not sure. Um, but thanks for your input there. Okay. Um, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, anything that I can bring to you that's simple, quick, easy to use, that makes your life a little bit better, I will always try and do things that I find in my business um, that I find useful, that are um, you know relatively newish if you're using that kind of program like Microsoft Word. I just hope that's helpful to somebody out there. Okay. So guys, you won't see me live tomorrow because I will be at my son's football match at the time that I normally go for a live, but I look forward to seeing you guys next week at my normal time for more great training. So have an amazing weekend. I know we're not quite there yet, but close. And I will catch you guys next week. Bye.